I'm Danielle Robay with the Red Carpet Report, and we are in Hollywood for the Actors for Autism charity event honoring Joe Mantegna, who has a personal place in my heart because he's from Chicago. Awesome. So why is tonight important for you? Well, I have a son who's on the spectrum, and I'm very good friends with Joe. And when I heard they were going to honor him with the Humanitarian Award, I said I better get my butt down here and support my good friend, and uh, we're brothers in arms. It's wonderful. And we got to talk Homeland. It's a fan favorite. Yes, it is. And is you it want, a... You want to know what happens? Yes, of course. Can't tell you. <laughs> You're a tease, really. Uh, I'm deliciously uh, <laughs> teasy full. <laughs> so what's happening with your character this season? What can we expect? I am trying to distance myself as far away from Carrie as I can. She's, um, she's gone radioactive and, uh, you know, it's about self-preservation this season. And a lot of times with hit shows, you... You speak to the cast and they say, we knew it the first day we were there, we felt it. Did you feel that? Well, yes, because they stacked the deck behind the camera with five, the, the, the staff of the show is five showrunners. And the top three actors were all award-winning actors. So you basically didn't, if we, did all, if we could just not drive the bus into the lake, we knew we were going to be a hit. And I want to get to know you better, not just your Homeland character. Can we do a rapid fire game? Yes. Thank you. Okay. Biggest fear? Talking to you. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> okay. Not only are you delightful, you're dangerous. And delicious, right? Yes. <laughs> and if you had an anthem for your life, what would your theme song be? Uh, uh, it's that song by Greg Allman, uh, Diamond in the Rough kind of a thing. Um, I can't remember it. It's so great. It's so perfect. I can't remember it. We'll find it for you. Let's look it up. And then we can redo this little spot again. <laughs> and favorite sports team? Give it up. Well, I just say I'm rooting for Seattle this season, but I've been a Viking fan for 46 years. Wow. Yeah. You didn't know I was that old, did you? I didn't know you were a Viking fan. <laughs> that says a lot about you, more so than your age. Yeah. <laughs> well, how about you? I'm a Chicago girl. Wow. You I'm guys a Bulls were doing fan. good until last week. You got yeah. Your by the Lions. I like Cutler's wife more than I like Cutler. Jay's a little um, pasty. <laughs> That's one way of putting it. You know, he's just a little, you know, doughy and soft and and kind of not upbeat enough. Dour. He's actually. That's the other D. He's not delightful, delicious, or dangerous. He's dour. You're like a, a thesaurus. Yes, I am. And I, lo I love words. That's cool. Yeah. It's probably one of the reasons you're an actor. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm also a writer. What do you write? Uh, I currently have a show in development with Aaron Kaplan, and Clark Johnson is the director, and it's a prison show that we have. Uh, we're, we're writing it right now and hoping to get it out and, uh, for pilot season next season. So someone likes crime dramas. Yes. Um, I like... My brand is Comedy Cop. Um, so yes, and they've done... They've, they've, crime dramas have been very, very good to me. Any favorites from growing up? Barney Miller. Not the drama, but funny. Um, do you do any other impressions? You're pretty good. The streets of San Francisco. <laughs> They're so good. Uh, Michael Douglas. Oh. He's from New Jersey like me. I heard the East Coast there in your yeah, accent. That's right, baby. Yeah, I'm from Jersey. Where are you from? I'm from Chicago. Can you give oh, me... That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you just the, the double tap. The da Chicago double tap. I can't even do the Chicago accent. It's so like nasally. Well, we could like talk to Joe Montaigne for that one. I forgot Joe's from Chicago. I love Chicago, but the greatest accent in the world. People Dub Bears. Chicago. Dub Bears. Any other impressions? Not to put you on the spot or anything. I don't really do impressions. I consider myself a creator, not an impersonator. Ooh, fancy. Okay. Thank you so much. It was my pleasure. Oh, thank you, Danielle. I had a, are you going to stick around? Yes. Thank you so much for watching. It's been a wonderful night. And if you like this video, click like for more, subscribe, and let me know what charity is closest to your heart. Thanks so much. David, nice, nice to meet to you. Nice to meet you. We're both Ds. I think it's going to be a good night. D and D. <laughs> We're not dumb and dumber, though. We're delightful no. and delicious.
Guess who's who? Uh, I'm going to go with delightful. Okay, perfect. I'm delicious for sure. Awesome.